Okay. Okay, so Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. So, firstly, change over the stream info. Twitter, switching to Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords now, and copy that before tweeting it, and then paste it into my Discord. And then the one other thing we need to do also had a moment of like, wait, I did turn my mic back on, right? And I did. Um, let's set the previous command. Which is... Oh. Okay. Copy that into it into previous command. And just to confirm. Okay, now what do I all need to to the second monitor and that over to the second monitor and that over to the second monitor and then activate the second monitor and turn my main monitor so that I'm not being covered up and then we start the game So now what are we wanting to do? Where are we going to go? Um, yes. 
lost all the droids processor control cluster okay what do we still need for that uh droid chassis oh sorry just noticed where i had obs on my second screen was covering up the chat or partially covering up it's because it's still read most of it just kind of read the very like it was covering up like kind of the edge of it and i need to be aware if you know somebody starts chatting Back on the ship, I need to exit. <laughs> One day I'll get the layout of my. Well, beep beep. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Beep beep. Just check the damn connector. <laughs> I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you, because I don't like droids. They break in the head. I mean, I like well, whatever you game. call that thing on your head. <laughs> yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. That's the way it works. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor, the absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. Um, Settle down, you two. This isn't the time or place for this. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Um... Can we leave the past in the past and get back to work? Fine by me. Something up? Uh, let's maybe go to one of the other. do we want or where do we want to go next
do you want to go try going back to Onderon? I can't remember which other planets we all... Because there were multiple planets where we thought there were Jedi hiding out. Don't just tell, tell us this is where we've been previously. Or I guess this is where we've been previously. So it's probably potentially all of these. Have we been to Dantooine? I'm not sure we're going to go to Dantooine. Who do we want with us? Want our droid? Mandalore? Should we bring Vsauce? Notices your lightsaber. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. Uh, can you please answer some of my questions I first? will answer your questions. Who is Administrator Adair? She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. Okay. Why are there so many mercenaries here? We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. Excuse me. Has mercenaries caused any problems? The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. Who's a farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the calf hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. Hmm. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Where's Kunda? Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. Okay. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. This is your center of government? I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. I'd be more impressed if there weren't so many holes. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? Going Just now. head into the building, and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. My life is yours. Skills recommended, sure. Beats recommended. Okay, sure. Powers recommended. Yeah. Okay. Accept. 
attributes, recommended, why not? Skills, recommended, sounds good. Powers, recommended, burst of speed, okay. Specialist 3. I don't need skills recommended. Sounds good. Powers recommended. Heal. Always useful. Except. Where are my other. Okay, so 13 or 14 is where we're presumably going up to. Ooh, determination. Sounds good. Recommended force collection. Sounds good. Attributes. Skills. Feats. Force immunity paralysis. Strike, Force Channel, Battle Meditation, okay. Okay, um. Saber. Configuration two. Maybe a heavy blaster. Um. Sure. Um. Okay. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. the first thing we do when we arrive somewhere new, we find uh, 
stuff to loot. over there. Just hanging out. Credits. Nice, nice. Pato Pato. Three greetings to him. Somebody visitors to Kunda, new base of arrival in class. This happened all too often. I couldn't do a mile strike to bring the humans here. A Pato Auto on it. He called it an autobiologist. That way he transports the planetary zone here. Very much less planted by it. Anxious to depart. Uh, what are you doing on Dantoid? I said to collect catalog of natural resources of this planet, fascinating plant for its life. Even nature is troubled here, the ecosphere is balanced and lost without correction of the planet in time. Um, how can it be corrected? Difficult to say. This year, forces of Earth disrupt, ascensions have terrible power. The mm -hmm. proximity may be the real problem, but it would say something must be causing myriad. There was serious behavior of the Kinrath. It's unusual with the Kinrath's behavior. Yeah, they call several wolves, or they are well known for their nesting. Here they swarm. All this here, here, appear to be the center of all their anomalous behavior. Are you anxious to leave dead? Mm -hmm. My airship has been long. Mm -hmm. to return to Talos, so I must find ways to pass the time. Mm -hmm. You have the curious recreation of the Fizzah. Mm -hmm. Much time passed and I made many friends, but all the humans here no longer play with me. Mm -hmm. I completely understand. When I was learning, they were eager to play small ones of credits. But I enjoy another game that no one will play. You can offer to wait. Get your rare components as full of armor. I'm claiming that that wasn't enough. I'm anxious for time to pass again. You're not supposed to be a bizarre deck and an inclination to pass time with you. Do I? Uh, do you have any cards I can buy? Six, replace it with plus minus six. Um, get rid of that minus one. Replace it with plus minus one. Minus three, plus minus four, plus minus. Let's try this. Okay. Uh. 
This is not ideal. If I... I in turn, I'm most likely gonna lose. Well, I need to, if, mm. Okay, we're gonna risk it. Explain to Zog, I found myself a credit for credits that I'm needing. I can make credits or for none at all. Um. Can you play for your special armor component? I'll be able to find nothing else that they are very useful to my work. Okay. Uh. Small bet, 250 credits. What you would like, shall we play now? Let's go. Go for it. This is a bad idea. I just lost. But. Oh, I can. Okay. but he used a card. Had it been one less, I could have used my plus minus three as a minus three. Nice. This mat this round wins. Unless it's a tie, I guess. And I'm at a sixteen. Kinda have 
to risk it, I think. Oh, that risk paid off. That was a good game, of course, was with you. I'm eager to play another game. I thought it would be interesting, but it's not very interesting to me. I really like sharing good games with someone. Uh, let's play another game. Could get a twenty for sure. But the most I could go up to is twenty four, in which case I could use this. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn. down to just luck and I was That 
I cannot believe that worked. I swear I'll I'll, I'll I'll finish the sock soon and do something else. Okay, awesome. Battered protocol droid. What's going on over here? Tarn. And gave your lightsaber. A Jedi. I've got to tell the others. Uh. Hey, what do you have against Jedi? Ah, leave me be, Jedi. Yourselves a Jedi to the wrong person, so they complicate your efforts on Dantooine. Apparently. Hello. That's what it is. find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly Thanks finish so, your yeah. business in Kunda, and go. Uh, Don't shot. cause any more trouble for Dantooine. Had enough of it for a lifetime. I think Tarn has finally cracked. 
running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened, and perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. I'm well, I hope it's right true. You. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Well, um... The ladies? Is that her North Sphere lightsaber? Your lightsaber, okay. Not so keen to collect Welcome money. to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Uh, where is the administrator? Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now if you like. Uh, what do you have in Kunda? The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid, droid components. What exactly is Kunda? We hope it will become the new center of government for the settlers. The administrator has been trying to organize us in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Not a very big building for a center of government. We're a small group of settlers on the edge of Republic space. The building isn't large, but it's only the beginning. Uh, why would I need to see Zeron? If you get into any trouble, here's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. Recent problems? Like what? The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. Mm -hmm. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems, too. Could you go into more detail? No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. Okay. I have to go. So is it through this door? A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. Are you waiting for the administrator, too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. <laughs> uh, what are you waiting for? I'm here to get another pat in the back from the administrator and hear how unfortunate my situation is. That my problem is important, and they'll get around to it. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Um... Who exactly is your problem? Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. The salvagers stole your equipment? Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn leg ricks came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture evaporator. This smug fellow, Joran, told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid the scoundrel. Now, the moisture evaporator doesn't work, because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. 
Why doesn't the administrator help? It's hard to deal with womp rats when you got a gun dark on your back. I believe she'll get around to it, but I think by then it'll be too late. I understand that the wheels turn slowly on this sort of thing, but my crops are in immediate danger. The salvaging laws on Dantooine are a mess, and in my mind, they favor the salvagers. Sounds like it. Is there anything I can do to help? I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to the salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. Uh... Where is the salvager camp? It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. I'll see what I can do. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Okay. Settler. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes? No friendly greetings are here for you. Uh, my ship isn't battered. What are you doing, Kunda? I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something of mine they have in their possession. It's very unwise to stand in my way. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Okay. Let's see, this is the administrator. Turn at the dare. A visitor. Please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're Adari. the owner okay. of the um, ship. It just landed. Mm. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Samantha. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. <laughs> but you didn't answer my question. She noticed. Is that ship yours? Uh, I came in that ship, yes. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Uh, prefer if you keep that quiet, Jedi don't seem to be like here or practically anywhere these days. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course I will honor. I Most see. settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. It is funny that I was asking her to keep quiet the fact that, you know, I'm a Jedi when I'm, you know, wearing the robes and uh, <laughs> have a lightsaber in my hand. Looking for a Jedi, can you tell me who you're talking about? Or seems to have guided me here for a reason. Indeed, true coincidence seems very rare in the affairs of Jedi. But I should tell you, my friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. Huh. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Do I want to try persuading? Or should I be honest and upfront? I should be honest and upfront. He didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. Brooke and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. 
He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Okay. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? Uh... I actually came here to search the Enclave ruins anyway. This could work to both of our advantage. You can search for artifacts for your own interest and also for Brooke at the same time. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Um, what are the dangers of the sub-level? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the okay. Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level their home. Several salvagers have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvagers. But Vrook has not returned in some time. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Um, I'll be going now. Okay. Baron. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. Uh, who are you? Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Uh, manners, right. I'm Baroon Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Anything well, right. that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Uh, sounds like you don't approve of uh, This is sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. <laughs> That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. Oh, yeah. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a good situation. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well, then maybe he should be replaced. What makes you suspicious? Just a lot of little things don't add up. It could just be a surprise party. But I think Zeron takes this problem very personal. So if you happen to... Capture by some... Uh, see him as right there. If you had just moved to work to check into things, you'd be compensated. Audio cut out. That's weird. I feel like I have something else. I hate going about how to catch his back. I just feel... I just have a feeling about it. Um, I'll be going now. All right, stay out of trouble now. Um, let's save. Let's exit the game. Go back in. Huh.
I'm not sure if the problem is. Actually, no. You know what? We're just going to end stream here and I'm going to solve this problem and off stream. Because I don't know if the problem is with OBS or something else. Uh, and I'm just not going to rage. So we're just going to end here. I will hopefully be back tomorrow. And uh, yeah. Bye.